I worked myself so hard that I turned a person this fucked up into this motherfucker right here. Not off of reading a fucking book off a theorist, off of going to work on myself and saying, I don't know how to do this. But I know that to get over there to that fucking side, I gotta grind myself into a fucking fine powder. And I did it. I did it off a of sure will. And very few people will know how that feels. I believe that most human beings are only living at about 40% of their capability. So the mind has a governor, like a car. If you're driving a car and the car has a governor on it, the car may say 130 miles an hour, but the governor is set for 91. Once that governor sets in, you get to 91, that car starts doing this. The car wants to go. The car wants to go, but that fucking factory said, uh-uh, we're not going past 91. We have a factory, a nice governor in our brain, and it's a survival mechanism. It protects us from pain and suffering. The second we feel that shit, our mind says, oh no, this isn't fun. We should back off. We should sit down, find something more comfortable. And there's something about the mind. The mind has the tactical advantage over you at all times. At all times of your life, the mind has a tactical advantage over you. Why is that? It knows what you're afraid of. It knows your insecurities. It knows your deep, dark lies. And it starts to push you away from that shit. It pushes you in a direction that is comfortable. The mind controls everything. So what I realized was that when I was growing up and I was 300 pounds and I got all fat and I got all insecure, I realized that my mind kept taking me in this direction when things got uncomfortable for me, when I was facing my insecurities, I was facing my fears, my mind said, oh no, we have a tactical advantage. We need to get you, separate you from this feeling. This feeling over here, life's all about feelings. We want the happy feeling. We don't want that feeling of this sucks. Why am I here? And you don't have any, so, so you can't answer those questions, so you leave. I started realizing that if in that moment you can answer those fucked up questions and you are now in charge of your brain versus your brain ruling you, that's where all that stuff comes from. So, so, so the 40% rule is all of that. You get to 40%, your brain says, we're done. Let's roll, man. This is starting to get painful. This is uncomfortable. So you sit down. And once you start giving yourself more and more hope and start realizing, okay, the mind starts to be, okay, wh what are you doing? We're supposed to be going right and you're going left. You start then controlling your mind. Start finding more in, you know, in yourself. And then it goes from 40% to a lot further than that. But that's the start of it though. Get to, get to the spot where your mind is saying stop. Wherever that is, you gotta get there first. And then that's when that shit starts to work for you. You gotta control yourself in that moment. How you address it is you face it. You face it every day. You face it every single day of your life. Where you say, okay, like if you're fat and you need to lose weight, it's patience. It's patience in this fact of accepting who you are right now. I'm fat, I don't like myself. Accepting the fact that if you lose three or four pounds, that's a huge accomplishment. You have to live in your own fucking world. If you're not real and raw with who the fuck you are, nothing's gonna change. We're all, you know, a lot of us are going through a hard time in life. Some people have been bullied, some people are just stressed out, some people are insecure, some people are fat and overweight, and the world puts a lot of this shit in your mind. To develop a mindset a mindset that was indestructible. I had to armor plate my mind. And it's about what you're saying to yourself, but it also comes with work. So whenever I was getting beat down, physically, mentally, spiritually, whatever I was going through, just saying, you know, I would put, you know, you can't hurt me. Can't hurt me just became a message. I, you know, I would say to myself, and that's just kind of where it comes from. Because I can literally right now be a 300 pound guy Spraying for cockroaches, still to this day, if I did not look in that mirror and say, there, there has to be more to this. This can't be it. 
and then willing to go into it, dive deep into it, and give all I have to find it. A lot of folks talk so much shit about, hey, I'm gonna change your life, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. Are you accountable for what you're doing? Are you accountable, and I mean to the T, for what you're saying? How are you gonna feel, man, when you accomplish this goal coming from that shit? Coming from the fucking hell you came from? A lot of people start from a good starting point. They have a good foundation. What if you can surpass all of these motherfuckers? What if everybody who was fucking way up here started up here and you had, you started with no legs. You had to grow fucking legs to even start walking and then crawling and then running. And then you start passing people and all this given to them. I had to use all this negative shit that was making me weak and horrible as a person. I had to use this as the power that now fueled me. I had to flip it on his head and say, hold up. This might be exactly what I need. The darkness is exactly what I need. It's how you look at your situation. This is a race that you run completely alone. And you're all by yourself. I had tons of sticky notes all over my mirror. It wasn't like be better than John or be as fast as whoever. Okay, David, yesterday you did this. Today, our next goal for the week is this. People love putting a label on me about, my God, man, you're just wired different. I'm not fucking wired different, dude. So a lot of people can live with themselves. That's the first thing. A lot of people can live with themselves, look in the mirror and say, I'm okay with being afraid. I'm okay with going on this easy highway over here. The easy highway has all these fucking signs and shit, directions, how to get somewhere. And you have to first be uncomfortable with how you feel about yourself. With that voice that a lot of us like to run away from, we all have it. We all have that voice that's saying, hey man, you know, you're, you're kind of wimping out right now. You're kind of being a little punk right now. But a lot of us say, okay, that's okay. It's okay to tell these little white lies to ourselves. So we first have to face the real you. The real me is David Goggins. The real me is a guy looking at you right now saying, I don't want to fucking be on this show right now because I used to stutter as a kid. And I'm afraid of that. I'm afraid that here in a second, I'm going to start fucking stammering and stuttering and the whole world is going to know that I have all these issues. But that's when I see right now, okay Goggins, you got to go on this fucking show. That's Goggins. Goggins is saying, okay David Goggins, you're a punk. Life made you this way. We can't live like this. We can't live in fear. We can't live in judgment. We can't be afraid of what the fuck people right now are looking at me saying about me. We cannot be afraid of that. But you have to be David Goggins and say, man, I'm afraid of this. I'm fucked up here. Life made me this way here. I stutter. I, I have these issues with, with, with uh, reading and writing and, and I'm, I'm, I'm fat and I'm insecure. You have to face that in that dark room. In that dark room is who you are. But in that dark room is where you have to create another human being that walks out of that dark room to face who you are. The day every day, like you said, I'm in search for a feeling. I'm not in search for a trophy. I'm not in search for love. I'm not in search for more followers on Instagram or social media. When I started this journey years ago and I realized that I'm going to be somebody and I'm searching for a feeling, a feeling of true victory for myself and only myself. The second I shut out the whole world and realized that one thing, that I am in this world alone. I'm fighting this race by myself. Yeah, I'm all about people, I'm all about team, I'm all about that shit, but I'm really all about right now and in my life, just like you said, no one knows the real truth about me, how hard I really go. I don't care if anybody knows. I don't want anybody to know. I'm an introvert, I live an introverted life, and I love that about me. It, that right there is my fuel, is I know that there's really no one out there grinding like me. And if they are, so be it. If I know about you, I'll make sure that up my gang. <laughs> the most important conversation you will ever have in your fucking life 
is the one you have with yourself. You wake up with it, you walk around with it, you go to bed with it, eventually you're gonna act on it.